When I was a child, I heard stories about horrible creatures in the evil forest. Then also, I thought I had one in my neighborhood. Because each time I saw her, I felt like disappearing out of fear. I remember a time I was going on the way and somebody started binding and losing me. She knelt down and was binding, thinking I was a demon. When it happened, I actually lost a lot of friends because of course I couldn't hang around like with them like I used to. So a lot of them actually left. As a 12 year old, I've always heard of school for special children and thought it was their money that made them special. But the day I visited, they were indeed different. Well, the children need a lot of attention. They are not all that easy to cope with. So uh, some of them are very hyperactive. Some of them, they don't learn very quickly. So every child uh, is here because he has challenges in learning. As I grew older, I realized that all of us are just unique and special. Some are born like that, but others through accidents and other complications. At the first time I didn't know I was, I had a, pro a problem. I was on my way home from Quarry Hazards, about 8 p.m. or so, very close to my house, and I was knocked down by a drunk driver. I went home that day and I asked my mom what was wrong. And my mom said, oh, you are dead. You are not like that. But you can go in a regular school. During her bath, there were some problems which caused her to be what she is now. I'm not comfortable around people that have disabilities. Um, there was this guy in my secondary school. I used to laugh at the guy without knowing that the guy even had a crush on me. I don't know how to really say it, but I, I don't, I'm not always okay with them around here. Growing up was not so nice, but one thing I made sure I wanted to belong like everybody. So even when you laugh, I will. You laugh, I tell you, yes, I have a problem, but me, I go do everything I want to. He had to isolate me from people because it became terrible. You know, but I got to the point I was losing so much weight, I was losing my hair because of depression. It got to a point I had to talk to myself, like, Grace, if you're going to just die and rest, why don't you just die? From the rising of the sun to its settings, Events occur and people experience them. Ordinary people. We are all ordinary people, but some do extraordinary things. I have challenges with what I'm like, but I don't make them weigh me down. One thing that kills people with disability, and I, did, I didn't let it kill me. If you have to come to you be yourself. Yes, you have a disability. It's not the end of the world. We say they are disabled. We make them feel they are not like us. We constantly do things just to favor ourselves and always strive to make life difficult for them. I'm, I'm a teacher with an open door. Special education center, and I do awareness program. 
à terme à cause de plaisir de terme pour la part ça n'a pas rapport à ce que je dis ça n'a pas à ce que je dis Recording artist, a music minister, a disability rights advocate, an inspirational speaker, and um, basically that's that. I wanted to make a difference in Nigeria society. I think it was an opportunity to be great in a different way. Victory and success belong to us all, ordinary people. Let us have a world of ordinary people Living life the way God wants us to And if we have a world of ordinary people Extraordinary things will happen to me and you. Consider ordinary Joe who lost it all.